Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Cancer, this is going to be a reading for you. We're looking at the third week of September. Let's see what we have coming in for you. I do want to say that I really appreciate you guys. All your likes, your subscriptions, your views. If you feel like you resonate with this reading, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Because that's how we grow. I really appreciate you guys. Let's go. I want to get one, one more shuffle in. Alright, let's get an overall energy. feast of planning choices and their consequences this card for me is always talking about you know be careful what you choose be careful because choices do have consequences and I feel like it's like feast of plenty for me this card is talking about somebody who's being greedy you know Somebody who's wanting too much out of a situation or somebody's choosing an option because they're greedy or because of what they can get out of it. They're not logically thinking about what. Yeah, we have a lesson here. Feast of plenty, choices and their consequences. Hollow bone teachability. Yeah, if somebody's about to learn some type of harsh lesson here when it comes to love cancer. is going on here we have growth and plants or plants growth this is definitely for somebody's uh development soul development um yeah and then we have speaking your word voice so i feel like the lesson that's about to come out of this situation with you and another person is the lesson of being able to stand up for yourself, being able to understand what it is that you really need or want out of a situation. Opening your throat chakra and just really standing up for yourself, I'm getting. We have soul passion underneath that. Yeah, this is definitely for somebody's soul growth. I'm trying to tell you. All right, let's put a little kipper on here and see where we're going with this reading. Make it razzle dazzle real quick for you guys. It's early in the morning. That's when I do my readings. And here we go. We have pathway. So this is a part of someone's path. I feel like this is a hurdle that someone's having to go over in order to be able to move forward on their path. Somebody's definitely made the wrong choice or has, or is in the process of making a difficult wrong decision. And it's like, this is gonna be a lesson for you, but at the end of the day, you're gonna, you're gonna learn how to do what's right for yourself. This is gonna be a part of your growth. This is a part of your path. So it might seem like you're making a, a hasty decision, but spirit is redirecting it back around to how this can be a lesson for your soul's growth, which is what happens to all of us. It's never a wrong decision or a right decision. It's just it's just another meandering turn on our life path. Choose this way, the lesson is still there. Choose this way. If you've already learned the lesson, it's a new lesson. You know what I mean? So that's just how it is. Yeah, this courtship. Hmm. Also, I'm getting here, Cancer. You might be trying to teach someone a lesson. I'm getting like somebody tried to play games here, possibly. 
both two people are getting a lesson here it feels like we do have two of swords showing up but let's go ahead and see what else is going on get into this tarot We have the Ace of Wands, okay. We have the Queen of Wands. It's not looking good. So with these two cards just coming out right here, I'm getting like somebody already done cheated is what I'm getting. Somebody was playing. I can't make this shit up. I can't. Five of Swords. Somebody did something for selfish reasons. It looks like somebody took on a mistress. Mm-hmm. We have the Wheel of Fortune coming out. Yeah, Destiny, Timing. We have the Page of Coins. We have the Ace of Coins. And I'm not taking this all. Yeah, there is that. What did I just say? The Tree of Life comes out. This is just another path on the journey. Somebody was trying to force something here without doing any soul searching um it's like somebody's just trying to force their way through something but they didn't do any of the work the inner work so now there's another lesson here i'm not taking these but that's the message hold on and at the bottom of the deck we have the tower in reverse Oh, so this is definitely finna cause some type of breakdown. Could be a mental breakdown. Could be some type of physical realization. Something like that. Stop. So, Cancer, what I'm getting here is that there was some opportunity to learn a lesson here. Pages are about learning the page of pentacles is definitely about learning he's actually the one who retains the information and is able to use it there's also some type of hold on hold on oh these animals is getting on my nerves i'm sorry y'all take heed when you get a kitten because or a puppy because they they will drive you crazy Alright, one more second. Oh. Okay, let's go ahead and get one more shuffle in. Sorry, the cat keeps running and hitting my tripod. Oh. So had to put him in the room. <laughs> he thought it was a game. Somebody, yeah, somebody, it looks like somebody made a childish ass move here. But this was a part of their soul's growth. They had to do this. They, they were being selfish. Could be some type of mistress or third party involved here. Yeah. Somebody is about to have some type of internal breakdown, it seems like. Someone created another delay. Oh, goodness. All right. Let's go ahead and get some clarifications here. We have the two Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles and Death at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody was juggling. Somebody thought they saw an opportunity and they were just going to be wishy-washy and go back and forth. They thought they could balance this out in some type of way. But uh, Spirit said no. Somebody has some very strong trauma, motherly wounding here. Let's see, page of coins. Somebody's stuck in some type of toxic cycle, some type of childhood mentality here. If this, I'm, I'm sure this is the case for most of the people that I'm reading about, but this could also be somebody who's getting trapped with a child as well. I just heard they think they're it's their child. Oh wow. Yeah, there's some more there's some drama brewing. There's something about to happen. Show me the will. We 
We have the Four of Wands. So it's like this, there's something that is destined about your union here, Cancer, except for it's just not time. It's not the right time. Somebody's not ready to put their lion ass nature behind them. Show me this five of swords. The ten of pentacles. Somebody wants it all and they're going to do whatever it takes to get it all. This could be somebody who's very money hungry or is dealing with somebody who's very money hungry. We got the king of pentacles. This person is unloyal. They're not stable. They're not financially good. They have no control over their life. And God is trying to guide them at this time. Show me this queen of wands. It seems like this person is about to lose out on something very good in their life. And this is going to be a lesson for them because they're just out here chasing bullshit. Chasing other women, men, mistresses, side pieces, whatever. Somebody's um, detouring from the path. It feels like I, there is a lesson coming in for this person. It's going to be some type of internal lesson that's going to make them realize, like, I need to get my shit together. It seemed like three of swords. The will again. Wow, this is insane. Somebody's not letting a cycle close out with the, the king of wands. <laughs> and the queen of wands. This could be a twin flame. Somebody broke their person's heart for sure. Show me the ace of wands. And they, they want a new opportunity. They had to be held up in order to receive this new opportunity, two of cups. Yeah, they're chasing after stuff that's not even on the same vibrational frequency as them. That's the crazy part about it. All right. Let's. One more shuffle here. This is a this is insane. Somebody is stuck in some type of childhood pattern here. I do see that. It's like their stability is tied to this uh, behavior of whatever they do. They keep their self stuff. They're self sabotaging here. Every opportunity they get, they squander it because of some type of childhood wounding from the mother. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Yeah, there was definitely, there's no denying it. There was a third party or somebody was going after a third party here. Um, they wanted to juggle. They wanted to be a player, play the field, whatever the case may be. And for some reason, they thought that this was the right way to be, that this could have been something that was shown to them in childhood, like I said. And believe it or not, it is coming from the mother's side. And we have the star here. Every time they get something that they want, real true love, they block it from moving forward. They you, they lose the willpower to continue to move forward in this, this love that they find. They don't use their intuition. There could be some type of addictions or blockages that they, they lie. It's just stemming all the way back from... <laughs> Childhood. Oh, this is sickening. Show me the page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Four of Cups. Yeah, they reject anything that's good for them. And th they get this rejection, this self sabotage from childhood. It's like this person is being is used to being confined and especially to a certain way of thinking. For some reason, this person has it in their mind that everybody's supposed to do everything for them and they can get away with doing the bare minimum when it comes to relationships. And then just say, oh, well, it didn't work out, fuck it, and go to the next one. This person could be someone who jumps in and out of relationships a lot. Yeah, this person hasn't learned how to love equally have a, haven't learned how to reciprocate love here 
they have no loyalty or stability. Yeah, this is. Show me the Wheel of Fortune, Four of Wands. Yeah, somebody's stuck in a pattern here or they're blocking. We got the Two of Swords coming out again. We have the Two of Swords here. So somebody's stuck in two minds about something, but it's, it's looking like they're about to choose wrong. So that wheel's spinning again. It's like, okay, somebody's going back and forth again. They don't know what they want. And so Spirit is about to teach someone a lesson here. And that's exactly what I said from the beginning of this reading. And I, it hasn't faltered. Somebody is going to have to break down some type of construct. And that's the construct of this childhood wounding from the mother in order to get this connection of two of cups to turn upright. Five of swords, ten of pentacles. The hermit. Yep. Someone's going to be looking for something deeper here. Something... long term they're going to be trying to understand why they sabotage here it's like they sabotaged everything that was meant to last for a long time now their soul is urging them like to understand why i feel like we have judgment in reverse something's not going to be resurrected here yeah something has straight ended we have judgment and death in reverse it ain't coming back it ain't transforming this is some type of love that this person was receiving. And here we see in Five of Wands again. Somebody's fighting or creating conflict, especially when it comes to um, having multiple people here. This person doesn't know how to settle down. They create their own delays and blockages and then they blame everybody else. And then they act impulsively on what they've done and continue to you know create separation here show me this queen of wands three of swords the fucking queen of wands wow someone could be going back to someone here Show me the Ace of Wands hanging The Magician. Ten of Cups. Somebody's family is also manipulating them here and keeping them stuck from an opportunity. Yeah, somebody has a uh, family involved in their happily ever after in their unions. They have somebody else making decisions for them. They have no control over their own life. This is crazy. Somebody has a toxic ass family for sure. And also, whenever this person tries to manifest happiness, they get caught up. They get stuck. And they they get put in this position to where they have to sacrifice something in order to really grasp what it is that they're trying to manifest and bring into their life. And it's like they squander the opportunity. This person literally manifested something and they're just fucking it up. Because they want to have it all. They want to be greedy. They want to have third parties. They want to be King Don Juan and shit. Okay. We have heart to heart conversations. Keep an open mind. And pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, this person has a lot of red flags. This person has some soul, more soul development to go through. You deserve love. You are lovable. There's about to be some consequences for someone's actions. Let's just say that. Somebody chose wrong and they're about to see how wrong they chose.
All right, let's see what the angels have to say. Um, remain positive. Perfect timing. Okay, I did not expect that because we've seen the Wheel of Fortune two times. So there was a time, there's a perfect time for an opportunity here. So there is a new opportunity, a new passionate opportunity. No need to worry at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, like I said before, it's like something's happening and it looks like it's steering someone off their path, but it's just really a course correction. There's no need to worry. There's not a lost opportunity here. see where this energy is heading in the near future as the cards are on the a trajectory at this time minus your free will we have a fiery climax approaches so yeah we saw the five of wands about three times so there is about to be some type of internal tower somebody's about to break down their internal system their internal awareness there's a peridium that someone's about to outgrow here something from childhood it's like they're having some type of shocking moment like god damn i need to change this about myself and it's like they've been fighting with themselves fighting with their belief system almost like i need to change this there's a there's about to be a fight some type of conflict bring love into the situation yeah somebody's about to open their heart chakra up here um, we've seen that all that conflict around the King of Cups. Somebody was unable to give love how they receive it or unable to receive love how it was an imbalance basically with giving and receiving love, reciprocating love. Um, someone always took advantage of someone. You know what I mean? It's like once somebody was given love, they took that as a as an opportunity to use that person or take advantage of their, you know, feelings for them. work through your fears somebody could be afraid of love here too and step out of your comfort zone all right that is what i have for you guys cancer i really appreciate you again like this video comment down below subscribe to the channel because that's how we grow and i'll see you guys on the next one